This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. The first time the UK Hoops team played Tennessee this season, the Lady Vols beat UK by one in Lexington today. Kentucky and Knoxville trying to return the favor. Number six, Tennessee. Number 10, Kentucky. Both teams pretty in pink. Kentucky in the darker shade. Cats would trail by as many as nine early on. Under eight minutes to play in the first, Michaela Epps. Kentucky has a one-point lead, 22-21. Still in the first. Kentucky still up one. Jennifer O'Neill with a hand in her face. Wildcats up three. Final seconds of the first half. Bria Goss. She lets it rain, and we're tied at the break, 31 all. Second half, Cats out and running. Epps, coast to coast. Team high, 13 points for her. But Tennessee goes on a 10-1 run. Ariel Massengill there. Vols lead by seven. Cats trying to stay in it. Lene Harper, up, under, good. 56-49, Kentucky still trails. Next UK possession, O'Neal open in the corner for three. O'Neill finished with 12, but the Vols pull away in the end, led by 17 points off the bench from Massengill. Final score 72-58, Tennessee. Kentucky moves to 25-0, and John Calipari says after the game Saturday, quote, we're a good team. Duh. Yes, even he's having trouble finding fault with the undefeated Wildcats. A 34-point win over South Carolina ties the 1953-54 Kentucky team for the best start in program history. And Calipari made sure his team was aware of that record after the game. You know, I told him, I said, you just tied a, a record at a, of the most storied program in the country. You tied a record, and you're all freshmen and sophomores and, and Willie. You tied a record, you're all freshmen and sophomores and Willie. And you played an unbelievable schedule, one of the best non-conference schedules in the country, and you're one of the best leagues in the country. It's great. At the same time, you have to focus on the next game. And um, it doesn't matter if you don't finish it off right, so you just have to stay focused. All right, six regular season games left on the schedule for the top-ranked basketball Cats. Half are on the road, half are at home. Next up, Kentucky at Tennessee this coming Tuesday night, 7 p.m. tip time with live coverage of the game on ESPN. They took off today for that game. Up next, we know who will be in the front row at the Daytona 500. The Great American Race is next Sunday. A couple of teammates will be in the front of the pack when the green flag drops. The NASCAR season gets underway next Sunday, and for the next 10 months, Racing fans will get to see one of the sport's all-timers complete his legacy. Jeff Gordon starts his final season by winning the pole position for the Daytona 500. Gordon, of course, announced last month that this will be his last full-time season. His teammate Jimmy Johnson locks down the two-spot. So the front row is all Hendrick Motorsports. The green flag drops at 1 o'clock p.m. next Sunday. A win guarantees him a spot at the Masters and PGA Championship, and he does it by setting a record. Brant Snedeker wins the Pebble Beach National Program on Sunday. He shoots a 67 on the final day, putting him at 22 under for the tournament, breaking the scoring record by two shots that he set back in 2013. Snedeker moves up in the rankings as well. He is now 31st in the world. Five former Kentucky Wildcats participating in this weekend's NBA All-Star festivities in New York City. Tonight's the All-Star Game. Queen Latifah singing the national anthem pregame. Bill Clinton in attendance singing along. Let's go first quarter. John Wall up to LeBron James. That's good. Later, Wall baseline drive up under. That's good. Still first quarter. More LeBron. Beast mode. 30 for LeBron. He surpasses Michael Jordan and moves into second place on the NBA's all-time score. All-star scoring list. Kobe Bryant has the most points on that list. Second quarter, Kyle Lowry, the steal, and the lob up the wall. That's big time. Later, the East down by 12. No defense at all here. Wall just pulls up buckets. The West, though, defeats the East 163-158. Oklahoma City guard Russell Westbrook, as you saw right there with that dunk just for the end of the highlight. He wins the MVP of the All-Star game. Get this stat line, 41 points, five rebounds, three steals. The guy who scored the most points in an NBA All-Star game is Wilt Chamberlain with 42. Of course, he had a 100-point game in a regular season NBA game, but so he was one point shy of uh, the
the all time uh, for, for a game. Pretty impressive, Jamie. Pretty impressive. Thanks a lot. <laughs> we'll wrap things up right after this.